Hi, Assalamualaikum. Today I'm going, I'm, first of all, I'm Bisha Zibeti Dadil. Today I'm going to talk about oil extraction rate and crude palm oil quality. What is crude palm oil? Crude palm oil is a globally traded commodity extracted from the flesh or mesocarp of oil palm fruit. The extraction begins at the mill with the sterilization of fresh fruit palm, FF. FFB, where each bun contain more than a thousand individual fruit and all bunches are cooked in a pressure. Next is oil extraction rate, OER, is the number of comparison between the crude palm oil and fresh fruit bunch, FFB, in the percentage. Here are the CP CPO are considered as a good quality by first. Free fatty acid should be below 5%. Second, dirt in the oil should be below 0.01%. And lastly, moisture in the oil should be below 0.1%. Next, we go to the factor affecting OER and CPO quality. I'm going to talk about in the field, then in the bid during processing the CPO. Here we go. Factor in the field. First, know the condition of bun ripeness. It is important to know the right time of harvesting the fresh fruit bunch. If the FFB is overripe, it will increase the FFA, which is free fatty acid, which leads to decreasing of CBO. But if harvesting unripe of FFB, the oil content will decrease. Next, use the good planting mineral. We use the good planting materials will give you the best productivity in the end when you harvest it. You should buy the seed from the trust seller and the seed itself from the clear resources and register. The use of unavailable seed may cause the oil palm tree not produce many fruit. It will his losses to the planters. Next, for the third point, give the fertilizer to oil with the right amount of dosage. The fertilizer will be given depending on the weather, so nutrient to supply enough nutrient according to the need of the oil palm tree on that time with the suitable dosage. This is important so the root can easily absorb the nutrient given and grow with the best product. This is important so the root can easily absorb the nutrient given and grow with the best production of fruit in the future. And the last one is the weather change. Weather change also play an important in determining the quality of CPO and it OER. For two years lately, Malaysia has to face with the climate change which El Nino take part and the oil farm need to adapt with the new climate. The production of palm oil decreased but it is made the passive from the court because of the climate, the price of the oil palm become increased due to the problem of decreasing in supply. Okay, we move to the milk to processing the CPO. First, boil the, boil the milk two years early. It should be done before the fruit ready to be harvested. It should be during the planting the seedling. The milk have two important part which is the main part and the supporter part. For the main part, usually have reception, sterilization, threshing, threshing, screening, and clarifying. Other could be oil recovering. For the main part, usually have reception, sterilization, threshing, pressing, screening, and clarifying. Other could be oil recovering, purifying, drying, and storage. Both are used to get the crude palm oil and palm kernel oil. Next is avoided using dry steam during sterilization. During sterilization, using the dry steam is avoided because the temperature is higher than saturated steam even at the same pressure given. The ideal temperature for the, this process is about 135 degrees Celsius with the pressure of 2.8 kg per cm square for about 80 to 90 minutes.
Next, we do purification. This process is still removing the impurities such as the water and any other solid. Lastly, use suitable storage to avoid oxidation. The way of storage will affect the quality of CPO. The temperature in the tank used for storage, the CPO should not exceed from 55 degrees Celsius. If not, oxidation and hydrolyzation may occur. Okay, we proceed to the next slide. This slide, we can see the comparison of CPO among region in Malaysia. This is the production of crude palm oil from the whole year of 2016 and until April 2017, which we can see that Peninsula Malaysia have about 820,077 times. And for the Sabah Sarawak, we have 727,976 times in production. On the April 2017, and for the next slide, we can see the oil extraction rate, OER, also for the same two years. And I will say about the April on the... Peninsula Malaysia, we got about 90.24% per and for the Sabah Sarawak, we got about 20.30% of OER. And we proceed to the next, which is the comparison of CPO among the countries producer. Uh, so, we can see at the right of this slide. Here are the top 10 list of oil palm producer and as we know Indonesia are in the lead now followed by Malaysia and the Thailand. Here at the left I have put the oil extraction rate for those three for those three major producer each Thailand about 14 to 70% of OER followed by Malaysia about 20% of OER and Indonesia have the highest one about 22% of OER and we proceed to the next slide this slide show the graph of the world palm oil producer the comparison among the Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand and others this source from the United States Department of Agriculture, USDA. Here we go for the recommendation. First, harvest to FFB with the right technique. The harvesting technique for FFB is very important because it will affect the oil content chain after the processing in the mill. Harvesters should cut the stock as short as possible. If not, it will cause high of FFB a present in the fruit with the good practice done during harvesting such as use the right equipment use the sharpened chisel during harvest can improve and increasing the OER second is the grading the FFB following the quality standard do grading the FFB according to the standard quality as been told by the authority it helps in improving the quality and quantity of the OER obtained in the in the end of the process. This also can ensure that the supplier and miller get the fair deal of their transaction of it. This is good in maintaining relationship between the supplier and miller. The third one is the manage the workers and the system of working. By managing the workers or the system, also can increase the productivity and the quality of the OER. The workers need to follow the rule and regulation at their workplaces. Do tell them and explain the work following the work following the job description. 
when they are clear with their job so it will become responsibility for them to maximize the yield productivity and the quality of the oil pump become optimum next is control pest and disease attack commonly people use fungicide and rodenticide to overcome this problem and the last one is controlling and monitoring the daily work do controlling and monitoring the daily work in the achieving the good quality of the palm oil all the daily work should be monitored and analyzed from the management financial and the other working scope have in the plantation the need of the teamwork spirit from others and respecting each other work is important because all this will contribute in making of good productivity in the plantation area and the quality of CPO can lead to increase OER at the same time. That's all. Thank you.